What's up guys, if you're like me, you're constantly on your phone consuming data and content from various apps, but all those pixels constantly shining in your face will cause your battery to drain a lot quicker. However, if your phone has an AMOLED display, then by using a dark theme within your most used apps, the majority of the pixels will be turned off and your battery will last a lot longer. So here's a list of amazing apps with a dark mode option. Let's start it off with Wallbank, which is an app filled with tons of dark walls that you can download and set. The developer designed each one himself so you won't be able to find them anywhere else and he uploads new ones every day so you'll be able to change up your home screen regularly. All of these walls are illustrated and look great with any icon pack or widgets that you place. And for those curious, this pack doesn't just have dark walls. There are a wide variety of colorful and abstract wallpapers to choose from. It does cost a dollar, which is not a lot to ask for, but the developer was generous enough to provide me with 100 promo codes to give away to you guys. So to win one, follow me on Twitter at HowToMan, and I'll be giving them away in segments every week. For those of you who love reading articles offline without any ads, just the text, pictures, and the appropriate links, Instapaper is a great option. It's simple to use, just save any article or web page by sharing it to the app, and it'll immediately be saved to read later in a simple looking format. You can even save websites from your desktop with their Chrome extension or a bookmark link, and anything you save can be opened up on a device, including an iPhone. Of course, it doesn't have a dark mode option, just tap the three dot menu in the top right corner, settings, and under theme, select the darkest box. You can even have automatic dark mode. I don't know if you noticed, but I like to show off the most exciting apps first, and this next app is no exception. MIUIFI is one of those apps which will make it easier to reach your status bar with just one hand on a giant display phone like the OnePlus 7 Pro. This is because it throws the notification and quick settings panel to the bottom of the screen. With a single swipe, you can see it control all your notifications, including your music player. It also has sliders to control the brightness or volume of any profile. Swiping up a second time will expand the quick settings panel, which works perfectly to toggle most system settings. If you're worried about the panel getting in the way of your gesture navigation, don't worry because you can change the trigger area to be on the right or left side of your screen instead of at the very bottom. And for that cherry on top, you can change the colors to a truly dark background. Google Chrome has also gone dark, not entirely black, but it's a step in the right direction. Just go into the settings and under themes, you can enable the dark toggle. Everything within the interface will follow the new look, but websites will not be optimized. So if you want to take it a step further, I recommend you download Kiwi Browser. It's Chromium based, so you get most of the same features found within Chrome, but it has a few extra options such as a more powerful ad blocker, a bottom toolbar, edge history swipe, which allows you to switch back and forth between your previously visited websites just by swiping from either side of the screen, supports Chrome extensions, and a much more powerful built-in dark theme. It provides a truly black background throughout the entire interface, and it even changes the background of any website to black. I use Reddit a lot and there are a ton of third party Reddit apps out there that get the job done, but I found Slide for Reddit to be the best option out there. For one, you get a pure black background, but I also love that I can swipe between my subreddits and any postings to consume content quickly. The comments are also richly featured, I can condense the replies, easily upvote or downvote them, or reply to them with pictures, custom links, or in style. I can also add multiple accounts, go offline to continue reading subreddits and comments even when I have no internet enable reader mode to only see the text and links of a website posting, and customize the crap out of this app. If you want a great alternative, I suggest Relay for Reddit. It just has a different layout with similar features. Slide for Reddit makes it easier to navigate the app, but Relay keeps track of the postings you already opened, which you can quickly clear out of the way. And it shows you subreddits that are trending on the daily. Looking for a great RSS reader? Two of my favorites is Feedly and Palabre. Feedly is the OG. It quickly allows me to read up on my Android news or tech news. Articles are nicely organized with the most popular posts being at the top, and then the most recent ones right below those. Of course, I can surf selected websites and packs or see all of the most recently posted articles from a specific website individually. I can save articles to read later, discover new categories or sites, and search for particular topics. Balabra isn't as feature packed, but the way it displays article previews is quick and simple. Open an article, read without any ads or intrusions, and then slide to the next one. Both have a dark theme option and are incredibly customizable. If you think you have the greatest voice recording app out there, think again because Otter Voice Notes takes it to the next level. In the settings under advanced settings, you can toggle the dark mode. I just want to get that out of the way because this app can transcribe live recordings automatically and then afterward, you can search text to find specific words within the recordings. I use it all the time in my college courses. Then when I want to find a specific topic that the professor discussed in class, I can quickly search for it and all your recordings get uploaded to the cloud so you don't need to worry about losing anything. That's just the tip of the iceberg, you need to download this app right now and see what it's capable of. 
Now, before we move on to even more amazing dark theme apps, I wanted to thank Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. If you shave, shower, need cologne, style your hair, need wipes or deodorant, skincare products, or brush your teeth, I hope you do, Dollar Shave Club has got you covered in providing you with all your essentials and more. The other day, I gave their shaving starter pack a try, and with the Dr. Carver Shave Butter and Prep, two of their shaving creams, the blades gave me a nice clean shave in minutes. And to finish it off, their post-shave dew made my skin feel really nice and smooth. Plus, with the inclusion of four razor cartridges, I won't need to worry about running out of blaze for a while. All that for just five bucks. Their shower pack includes one fluid ounce of their body cleanser, shampoo, and daily face cleanser, all of which smell great since their nature-inspired scents. Again, five bucks. Or if you're looking for oral care, they have a great toothbrush that makes it easy to get in there, and the peppermint toothpaste makes my mouth feel fresh and clean. Five bucks. They ship all these products straight to your doorstep so you no longer need to worry about running out of personal hygiene products and you can tell them how often you want regular shipments. There are no long-term commitments here and if you're not happy with anything that they send you, they'll refund you right away. So join the club today and always look fresh and clean easily. I'll drop a link down below if you're interested. When it comes to Twitter, there's a couple of options out there. The regular Twitter app is great, but its dark theme really sucks. So a great alternative is Phoenix 2 for Twitter. It's simple and modern with a few extra features for customization. For example, I can change the layout of the tweets, rearrange, remove, or add new columns to the interface, bookmark tweets, mute specific hashtags or keywords, and in the settings under appearance and theme, they have a true black theme that you can apply. Talent for Twitter is also a great alternative. It also has swipeable pages that you can customize. You can change the layout of the tweets in your timeline, widgets to see your tweets quickly in the morning, a black theme which can be turned on permanently or in a set schedule, and much more. My favorite file manager is Solid Explorer File Manager. It has a beautiful design with an option for a black theme. My favorite feature within this app is that it has two independent panels so I can quickly transfer files between one folder and the other. I can also encrypt folders or files and unlock them with my fingerprint sensor, connect any of my clouds including Google Drive, Dropbox, and more, or if I have root access then Solid Explorer is a fully functional root explorer. Minimal Screen Recorder is my favorite screen recorder in the Play Store. It keeps it simple with no ads, a beautiful looking interface, and only has the necessary settings. The videos it records look perfect with very high bitrate, 60 FPS, and the video resolution is the same as your screen. To top it all off, they have a dark theme and it's completely free. If you're looking for an excellent photo gallery app with a dark theme, check out Memoria Photo Gallery. The simple interface loads all my photos up quickly, everything is very smooth, and it has a few extra bells and whistles such as previewing a picture by pressing and holding the thumbnail, locking personal photos or videos with the fingerprint sensor, the option to encrypt any photos or videos, hide albums, a slideshow feature, and much more. Another fantastic app that I love to use is Recent Notification. If you've ever accidentally swiped away an important notification without looking at it, then this app will solve that issue. It safely stores every notification that you receive so you can look back at the history. This includes the notification content and the timestamp that you received it, of course, since I added this app to this video, it does have a dark theme. So those were my favorite unique dark theme apps that aren't so popular. However, my favorite popular apps that do have a dark theme include most of the Google apps such as YouTube, Messages, Google Calendar, Google Keep, Snapseed, other popular apps such as Action Dash, which is an excellent alternative to Google's digital well-being, Launcher 2, which is my favorite launcher, Flood, which is the best torrent downloader in my opinion, Netflix, Spotify, Telegram, by the way, you should follow my Telegram channel called Hatuman if you want to conversate about Android with a ton of people. Push Bullet, but only the pro version has a dark theme, Pocket Cast, VLC, Twitch, and Discord. Anyways, those are the best dark theme apps that you can download right now. If you liked anything that I suggested, do me a favor and drop a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And while you're at it, get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any Android content. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Hatuman for those wall bank promo codes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!